Namaste, welcome. It's so good to be here. We're going to be focusing all on inversions and arm balances this morning. So we'll go ahead and get started in child's pose, coming around, sitting onto the, hip, the hips and bringing the knees wide if that's comfortable. Lengthening across your mat, and then allow the forehead to come to touch. Tuning into the breath, take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. And as you exhale, letting it out, connecting with that cycle of breath, creating that ujjayi breath. Breathing in and out, allowing it to be audible, sounding like the wave hitting the shore. Slowly rising up, we're going to come into our tabletop. And from here, we're going to stretch the wrist out. So taking the fingers and then turning them outwards, we're going to have the wrists face toward each other. And then slowly just rocking from side to side. We're going to feel into the palms, the hands, to allow ourselves to bring in some more blood flow into this area. And then if it feels good, you can slowly just begin to make some circles going one direction. And whatever feels good, we'll begin to go the other way. Pushing all four corners of the palm into the mat. Breathing into your wrist. And coming back to a neutral spot, we're going to take the fingers in and then bring the wrist out. So we're kind of in like a bulldog stance here. And then doing the same thing, rocking from side to side. Feeling into the body, warming it up. And when it feels good, begin to take your circles, go in one direction. Pushing the palms into the mat. Really allow ourselves to activate this area. And then go in the other way whenever you're ready. Create some balance. Draw your circles in all directions. Then coming back to a neutral spot, we'll tuck the toes under and then come up onto the heels. Now at any time if this becomes too much, feel free to come to the knees. Otherwise sit down onto your heels, deepening that toe stretch. And then take an inhale, reach towards the sky. As you exhale, bring your right arm under, left arm over, crossing at the elbows and the wrist for eagle arms. Otherwise, you can always be here and modify. If you're in eagle arms, we're gonna lift those elbows up parallel to the shoulder, and then drop the shoulders away from the ears. Do a couple circles here. So we're gonna drop it down, rounding through the spine, and then turning over to the right. We'll come up. And then drop it over to the left side. Do just a few circles. Using that breath, inhaling to open up. And exhale, dropping it on down. Inhale, open it back up. And exhale, circle it around. This time we're going to inhale, rising on up. And exhale, circle over to the other side. Continue to use the breath with movement, allowing yourself to open up and release through your upper body. And then once you come back to a neutral spot, we're going to come up onto the knees, release the arms on out, inhale, rise up towards the sky, and exhale, bring the left arm under the right, crossing at the elbows and the wrist, or you can modify if you need to. And then sitting back onto the heels, we'll come back into our toe stretch. And lifting those elbows up parallel to the shoulder. Drop the shoulders back and down and lengthen through the crown of the head. 
So you inhale here, pulling the heart forward. And as you exhale, rounding through the spine. Try to draw your circles. Going to one side, and then inhale is opening up. Exhale, rounding over. Keep using breath with movement to help guide you. Allow yourself to warm up. Release to the upper body. We're coming back to the top, we'll switch directions, going the other way, drawing our circles. And rising back up, take an inhale, lift the heart. And then slowly coming up to the knees. We release the hands on out. Take an inhale, reach towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring your hands back down through heart center. We'll come back into tabletop. Come and tuck the toes, head out the feet. Just releasing. And then rooting down through the left hand. Inhale, bring the right hand high. As you exhale, thread the needle, taking it through the opening, and then rest the right shoulder, right ear onto the mat. If it feels good, extend the left arm out in front of you, or take your half side, wrapping it behind the small of your back. Do whatever you need to to adjust to get comfortable. And then come back to the breath. Taking the left hand directly underneath the left shoulder, push the floor away, inhale, rise on up, and exhale, plant the right hand, inhale, left hand comes high, exhale, threading the needle, taking it through the opening, rest the left shoulder, left ear onto the mat, and then doing the same thing you did on the last side, either extend your arm out in front of you, or take your half body, wrapping it behind the small of your back. Do any adjustments you need to to get comfortable. And connect with your breath. Moving that prana, that life force energy into your body. Bring that right hand directly underneath your right shoulder. Push the floor away as you inhale, rise on up. And exhale, plant that left hand down. Just wiggle and shake the hips from side to side. Releasing through the body. And then taking the hand, about a handprint in front of you, shift the weight forward into your modified plank. Take it, inhale, push the ground away. As you exhale, lower down all the way to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra, push the hips into the mat, zip the thighs together, and then allow the heart to come forward as you draw the shoulders back and down. Take one more inhale, lift forward, and exhale, release. Inhale, open the heart, drop the shoulders back and down, pulling the elbows in. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise it back up, lifting that heart forward. And exhale, push the ground away, return back to child's pose, sinking the hips onto the heels, let the knees go wide, and reach long through the entire back side of the body. Inhale, rising on up, we're gonna plant the hands, tuck the toes, and then come back into downward facing dog. Paddling the feet, bend one knee and then the other. Slowly just warming up and feeling into the body. Then rooting on down through your left leg. Inhale, bring that right leg high, three-legged dog. We're gonna bend the knee, pointing the toe toward the head, coming into half scorpion, and then doing some knee circles, drawing the knee wide. Making some circles here, allowing that hip to open. 
So whenever you're ready, we're gonna go the other way. Creating some balance here. And then inhale, bring that right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee toward your nose, hold it here for just a moment, and then step it through. High crescent lunge. Rooting on down, we're gonna inhale, rise up toward the sky. Pulling the feet toward one another. We'll bring all the energy up through our midline. And then taking one more inhale, reach toward the sky. As you exhale, bring the hands back down. Step it back into a high plank or a modified plank. And then take an inhale, push the ground away. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin, come to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. Lift the heart forward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Push the floor away. Then lift the hips. Then <laughs> allow the heart to go toward the back of the room. <laughs> Take an inhale, bring that left leg high, three like a dog, and then bend the knee, pointing the toes toward the head. Whenever you're ready, begin to do your hip circles here, drawing that knee wide, opening up, feeling into the body, and then draw those circles going the other way. Take some balance, allowing yourself to be nice and even. And then take an inhale, bring that left leg high, three like a dog. As you exhale, bring your knee toward your nose, hold it here for a moment, and then step it through, high crescent lunge. Rooting on down, we're gonna inhale, rise up. Pulling the feet together. Pulling everything into the midline, we'll lift the heart forward. And then take one more inhale, reaching toward the sky. Exhale, bring the hands down, place some shoulder distance and step it back into a high plank or a modified plank. And then take an inhale, push the ground away as you exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the heart forward, wrapping the elbows in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Push the floor away, lift the hips, and then pedal the feet as you reconnect with the breath. Taking an inhale, look in between the hands. As you exhale, step, hop, slope, come to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back, bringing the hands to the shins or the thighs. We'll extend through the crown of the head. As you exhale, forward fold, bending the knees. Just release, letting the chest and the thighs touch. And then throughout your practice and over time, you can straighten out your legs, but don't lose that integrity of allowing the root chakra and the heart chakra to touch. Inhale, mountain pose, drop the hips, circle, sweep the hands up overhead, and then bring them back into heart center. At this time, if you'd like to set a dedication and intention, something that you're trying to manifest into your life right now, you can go ahead and bring your awareness there. Then rooting down through the feet, bending at the knees, inhale, rise up toward the sky. As you exhale, swan, dive the arms down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Pushing the ground away, take one more inhale, then shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra, or lift the hips up off the floor for upward facing dog. And then whenever you're ready, exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring that right leg high, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring your knee toward your nose, step it through, warrior one. Rooting one down, we're gonna inhale, rise on up. Take a couple nice deep breaths here, pulling the energy from the earth. 
And then take one more inhale, reaching toward the sky, lift the heart, and exhale. Step it back into your high plank, holding it here for just a moment. Take inhale, push the ground away, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to open the heart, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. And whenever you're ready, exhale back, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, reconnect with the breath. And then take an inhale, bring that left leg high, three legged dog. As you exhale, bring your knee toward your nose, step it through, warrior one, rooting on down. We're gonna inhale, rise on up. Pulling the energy from the earth. Lift it higher, allowing the heart to open. I'm gonna take one more inhale, activating through the fingertips. See if you can grab some sunshine. And as you exhale, bring it back down with you. Step it back, high plank. Holding here for just a moment. Take one more inhale, shifting the weight forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to open the heart. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Paddling the feet. Reconnect with the breath. And then take an inhale, bring that right leg high, three legged dog. As you exhale, bring your knee toward your nose, step it through. Warrior one, rooting on down, we're gonna inhale, open up, and exhale, shifting open to warrior two, we're gonna pivot the back foot, parallel toward the back of the mat, and extend the arms out to either side. Feeling nice and strong, nice and steady here. We'll take an inhale, flip the grip, lean forward, and as you exhale, reverse your warrior. Same leg, reaching through the side body. And if you can, sit deeper into that front leg. Taking an inhale, reach for the back of the room. Exhale, extended side angle, elbow to knee. Left hand comes high. If you like, you can take your hand to a block or the floor, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then lifting the heart and the gaze toward the sky as you drop that shoulder back and down. And then imagine someone's pulling that left hand toward the sky. Take one more inhale, activate through those fingertips. And exhale, bring that left hand down. We're gonna step it into a side plank. So left hand down, right hand high. Push in the hips, push in the heart toward the sky. Maybe allow the gaze to follow. Taking one more inhale, reach toward the sky. And exhale, high plank. Hold it here for just a moment. We're gonna pull everything back into the center. Everything back into our midline. And then take one more inhale, shift the weight forward, exhale, lower down. Inhale to open the heart. Whenever you're ready, exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring that left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee toward your nose, step it through, warrior one. Rooting on down, we're gonna inhale, rise on up. And exhale, warrior two, pivot that back foot parallel toward the back of the mat, opening the arms wide. Feeling nice and strong, pulling the energy from the earth. We'll flip the grip, lean forward, and exhale, reverse our warrior. Sit deep into that front knee, and then think length through the side body. Taking one more inhale, reach for the back of the room. And as you exhale, extend it side angle, elbow to knee, bringing that right hand high. If it feels good, you can take your hand to a block or the floor, and then shine the heart, shine the gaze toward the sky. Just drop the shoulder away from the ear, and reach through that top hand. Take one more inhale, reach toward the sky. Exhale, side plank, right hand comes down, left hand high, pushing the hips and the heart toward the sky. Allow everything to open up and expand. So take one more inhale, reach toward the sky. Exhale, high plank. Holding here for just a moment, push the ground away, then inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to open the heart. And exhale back, downward facing dog. <laughs> Pedal the feet, reconnect with the breath. Then 
Then take an inhale, look in between the hands. As you exhale, step, hop, float. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Fixing the feet for chair, bring them hip width distance apart, meaning two fists in between the feet, or take your toes together and an inch between your heels. Sitting deep into your chair, inhale, rise up. See if you can transfer the weight onto the heels, lifting the toes up, and then take an inhale, reach toward the sky. Exhale, sit deeper. Let's activate those legs, squeezing the thighs together, and then draw that tailbone down, lengthening through the spine. Take one more inhale, reach toward the sky. Exhale, sit deeper. Really activate those legs, pull everything in and up. Take one more inhale, reach toward the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Grab onto opposite elbows. Dangle from side to side. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. If you do any movements that feel good to you right now. Feeling into your body, using your intuition. And then releasing the hands to deep into your chair. Inhale, rise up. Pulling the hands into heart center. Look right, twist right, and then take the left elbow down to your knee. Pull the left knee back, squaring off the hips, and then return to your twist. If it feels good, open up your arms, shining them toward the side of the room. And continue to breathe, twisting open as you sit deeper. Take an inhale and reach toward the sky. And exhale, forward fold. You can grab onto opposite elbows again. Maybe take your hands behind your shins. Doing whatever feels good to you in your practice. Just allow yourself to release. Let everything go. Dropping it out the top of your head. Taking our feet for chair again. We're going to sit deep into our chair. Inhale, rise up. And then pull the hands into heart center. Looking left, twisting left, take the right elbow down to the knee. Then pull the right knee back in space. Once you're ready, return to your twist. And if you did so on the left side, open up your arms, shining them toward the side of the room. See if you can continue to inhale, open, twist deeper. And then exhale, sit down into your chair. More inhale, reaching toward the sky, and exhale, forward fold. Again, grabbing on the opposite elbows or taking your hands behind the shins, whichever one feels good. Just allow yourself to dangle here for a moment, letting everything go, just releasing through the crown of the head. Releasing the hands, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale. We're going to sit all the way down, coming on to our sit bones, making our way into boat pose. So rooting down through the sit bones, we'll sit up nice and tall, then taking the hands back behind us, lift the chest as you roll the shoulders back and down. From here, you can lift up your legs, adding in a little bit of challenge. And then if you like, bring your hands to either side. Can you inhale, reach nice and tall. And as you exhale, slowly lower down, hovering it just above the floor. Inhale, rise it on up. Exhale, slowly lower it down, hover just above the floor. Inhale, rise it on up. Exhale, slowly lower it, hover it here just for a moment. And then release to the ground, pulling the knees into the chest. You rock from side to side, feeling into the body. And we're gonna come into some bicycles here. So take the hands behind the head. We'll take an inhale, 
Lift the heart forward. And as you exhale, extend the right leg long and then take the right knee or the right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, extend the left leg long as you take the left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, cross it over. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, cross it. Inhale, and exhale, cross it over. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, cross. Inhale back, exhale, cross it over. Inhale back and exhale, cross it. Inhale back to center. This time we're gonna bring the legs all the way up. And then you can leave your hands behind your head or bring them beside you for a little bit more support. Taking an inhale, point the toes toward the sky. As you exhale, lower them down about a third of the way. Pushing that low back into the floor. Going to inhale, rise them back up. And exhale, lower them down about two thirds of the way. Really pushing that low back into the floor. Feel that core turn on. And then inhale, rise them back up. Exhale, we're going to lower them, hovering them just above the floor here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And then rise them back up. Exhale, lower it two thirds of the way. And inhale, rise it back up. Exhale, lower to the third. And then rise it back up. Hugging the knees into the chest. Rock and roll from side to side. And pulling the knees back in. We'll slowly rock and roll forward. Coming back into our boat pose. So again, you can start here. Lifting the chest. Pulling those legs on up. And maybe taking the arms out to either side. So nice and tall. Use the breath. We're going to hold it here just for a moment. Taming that inner fire. So we've moved around. Build our fire up. Now we got to contain it. Do one more inhale. Sit nice and tall. And exhale. Extend the legs out long. Coming into staff pose. Inhale, reach toward the sky. And exhale, fold over your legs, down into the earth. You can bend your knees if you need to. Just take this moment, reconnect with your breath. Let everything else go. Slowly rising on up, we're going to bend the knees in and then bring the hands in front of us, stepping it back into a high plank. We're going to hold it here for just a moment. And then take an inhale, lower down, chaturanga. And opening the heart, making your way through your flow. I'll meet you back in a downward facing dog whenever you're ready. Pedaling the feet, reconnect with the breath. And then take an inhale, bring that right leg high, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring your knee toward your elbow. Inhale, bring it high. And exhale, bring your knee toward your opposite elbow. Inhale, bring it high. And exhale, bring your knee toward your nose, stepping it through into a high crescent lunge. We're going to root on down as we inhale, rise up. And exhale, bring the hands into heart center. Shifting the weight forward, we're going to come into warrior three. Picking the back foot up and off the ground, pointing the toe toward the back of the room. We'll extend the crown of the head toward the front of the room as we lift the heart, dropping the shoulders back and down. If it feels good, take your arms out to either side for airplane. Or bring the arms in front in front, taking the biceps by the ears. Stay nice and steady, nice and balanced. Cooling the energy up from the earth as you keep a micro bend into that knee. Then taking an inhale, reach nice and long. Exhale, bring the hands down, point the left toe high, standing split. Now you can stay here if you like. 
stretching out, feeling into the body, or if you want to play around, you can begin to transfer the weight into the hands. Maybe kicking up, doing some handstand hops here, just playing around, having lots of fun. Be fun, some slow, that's great. Fall out, it's okay. Just get right back into it. What a yogi does, just keep going, keep flowing, and then come back to the breath. Whenever you're ready, point that left toe high for standing splits, and then exhale, bring your foot back, come into your high crescent lunge. Rooting on down, we're gonna inhale, rise up toward the sky. And exhale, bring the hands into heart center, looking right, twisting right, take the left elbow down to the knee. Extending through the crown of the head. Allow yourself to twist from the core. Then push that back heel toward the back of the room. If it feels good, open up your arms toward the side of the room. Allowing that heart to expand and continue to use the breath. Inhale for warrior two, rooting that back foot down, part both the arms open. Then take an inhale, flip the grip, lean forward as you exhale, reverse your warrior. Big inhale, length, reaching toward the back of the room, and exhale, extended side angle, elbow to knee, left hand comes high. This time we'll take a bind, taking that top hand behind the small of our back, and then if you like, completing the bind, dropping that hand underneath, finding some connection here, and then lift the heart, dropping the shoulder back and down, allowing the gaze to shine toward the sun. Releasing the hands on out, inhale, reach toward the sky, and exhale, coming into a twist. We're gonna put that left hand down to the ground, inhale, reach the right hand high. Stay rooted through that back foot, twisting from the core and then extending through the crown of the head. Take one more inhale, reaching toward the sky. And as you exhale, bring both hands back down, step it back, high plank. Holding it here for a moment, take an inhale, shift the weight forward, exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to open the heart. Whenever you're ready, exhale back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, bring that left leg high, three like a dog. As you exhale, bring your knee toward your elbow. Inhale, bring it high. And exhale, bring your knee toward your opposite elbow. Inhale, bring it high. And exhale, bring your knee toward your nose, step it through, high crescent lunge. Rooting on down, we're gonna inhale, rise up toward the sky. And then bringing the hands down through heart center, we'll shift the weight forward, coming into warrior three. Taking the back leg up, off the ground, we'll point the toe toward the back of the room as we pull the heart forward. Doing whatever you did on the left side, extend your arms out to either side, or bring them in front of you, taking the biceps by the ears, reaching toward the front of the back of the room. Stay nice and steady, rolling the energy from the earth, keeping a slight bend into the knee, reaching long. Do one more inhale, reach for the front of the room, and exhale, bring your hands down, shine your right toe high, standing split. Keep breathing. Pointing that toe high, releasing through the leg. And if you did so on the last side and you want to do on this side, we'll go ahead and do some handstand hops. So just kicking up. Transferring the weight into the hands, feeling into the body. Maybe you'll find some flow, maybe not. Totally fine. Just keep having fun with it. Let yourself be in the present moment. And whenever you're ready, point that toe high and exhale, shift it back. 
for your high crescent lunge. Rooting on down, we're gonna inhale, rise up, and pulling the hands through heart center. We'll look left, twist left, and then take the right elbow down to the knee. Push the floor away, allow the heart to open. And then if you did so on the left side, extending the arms, so we can open the heart to the side of the room. Keep breathing, stay nice and steady. Twist just a little bit deeper if you can. Inhale, warrior two, bring that back foot down, cartwheel the arms open. Pulling the energy from the earth, we'll flip the grip, take an inhale, lean forward, and exhale, reverse the warrior. Inhale, reach toward the sky. Exhale, extended side angle, elbow to knee, right hand comes high. This time we'll take a bind, taking this top hand behind the small of our back. And then if you like, take that bottom hand, Drop it underneath your thigh, finding some connection, or maybe using a strap to help close the gap there. So drop the shoulder back and down. Allow the gaze and the heart to shine open as you connect with the breath, letting everything else go. Slowly releasing through the hands. We're gonna inhale, reach up high with that right hand, and exhale, twist it out. Right hand comes down, left hand high. Staying rooted through that back foot. Lift the heart, lift the gaze. Connect with the breath. Take one more inhale, reach toward the sky. Exhale, high plank, step it back. One more inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to open the heart. Whenever you're ready, exhale back. Downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna make our way into dolphin. So dropping those elbows down. Gonna allow the elbows to be about shoulder distance apart, and the forearms are parallel toward another. So digging the forearms and the hands into the earth. We'll lift the hips, and maybe if you like, walk the feet just a little bit closer. Dropping the head between the arms, allow the ears to go toward the biceps. We continue to push the floor away. Take a couple nice deep breaths here. So drop the knees down, sink the hips onto the heels, and come into child's pose. Let everything go. Reconnecting with the breath. Feeling back into the body. Coming forward, we're gonna plant the hands again. The elbows are shoulder distance apart, hands are parallel toward each other, and we're digging them into the earth. Tucking the toes, lift the hips, make your way back into dolphin pose. Drop your ears in between the biceps, push the ground away. And then if you like, play around, maybe lifting up one leg, pointing the toe toward the sky. Pushing the earth away. Take one more inhale, point that toe high, and exhale, bring it back down to the mat. Switching the legs out, we'll bring the other leg up high. Just testing our strength, testing our balance. Playing around here, having lots of fun, and using the breath. Take one more inhale, point that toe high, and exhale, bring it down to meet the other. Come back in child's pose, bringing the knees wide, dropping them onto the ground, and sinking the hips onto the heels. Let everything go. 
Reconnect with the breath. Feeling back into the body. This time as we shift forward, we're gonna clasp the hands here. So clasping our hands. We're gonna uh, make a triangle with our hands and then our, our elbows being shoulder distance apart. Taking the crown of your head, so the top of your head, we'll place it right in between our forearms and then tuck the toes, barely having the weight in the head. We're lifting, pushing away through the forearm, through the shoulder. And then if you like, you continue to walk those hands forward. You can always stay here playing around, allowing yourself to build that strength. Or if you want to come into a headstand, come into a tuck. And then maybe you can find some balance. It will be easier to have L legs. So if you'd like to come into a handstand, these L legs, having them separate, will keep you a little bit more balanced, a little bit more stable. And then you can play around with switching those legs out, testing your balance, having lots of fun, using the breath, connect with the crown chakra. Wherever you're at, slowly begin to come down, coming through our tuck. And then bringing the feet back down to the floor. We're returning to child's pose, sinking the hips onto the heels, and then extending the arms out long. Reconnect with the breath. Going back into the body. Let everything else go. Coming back through to downward facing dog, we're going to tuck the hand, or to tuck the toes, push the floor away, and begin to pedal the feet, connecting with the breath. Taking an inhale, bring your left leg high. So inhale, left leg comes high, bending the knee, pointing the toe toward the head. So you can stay here and have scorpion. Or if you'd like, go ahead and slip your dog, dropping the foot to the other side, lifting the hips, lifting the heart, push the ground away. Take one more inhale, and exhale, spy your mat, flip it back. Inhale, left leg comes high. Exhale, pull your knee toward your nose, stepping it through for warrior two. Rooting on down, we're gonna cartwheel the arms open and then straighten through the front leg. Sticking the back hip out toward the back of the room. We'll lean forward just slightly and then come on down into our triangle pose. Stay lifted here, allowing the heart to open. And almost imagining someone pulling that top hand toward the sky, allowing you to feel slightly weightless. Bending through the knee, slowly rise on up. And then straighten that leg again, pivoting the toes to come to the long edge of the mat. We'll bring the toes in, heels out, and then take the hands onto our hips. Taking an inhale, lift the heart forward. And as you exhale, wide legged forward fold, come on down, releasing into gravity, letting everything go. Walk your hand over to your right foot, pivoting the right foot to the back edge of the mat, and then make the left foot parallel to the edge of the mat. 
Inhale, cartwheel the arms open, straightening through the front leg, sticking the back hip out toward the, the front of the room. And then reaching forward, we'll come on down, making our way into triangle. So either taking your hand to your shin, a block, the floor, and then lifting through the top hand. Again, almost imagining someone's pulling us up, allowing us to feel weightless. Opening, turning the heart toward the sky, and then dropping that shoulder back and down, creating space wherever you can, lengthening through the entire body. Bending through the front knee, we're slowly going to rise on up, coming back into Warrior Two, and then straightening the leg, pivot the toes to come to the long edge of the mat. Toes in, heels out, and then having your hands on your hips, take an inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, maintaining that flat back as you come on down. Releasing into gravity, letting everything go. Walking your hands over to your left foot, we'll plant the hands down and step the left foot back into a high plank. Taking an inhale, push the ground away, and as you exhale, chaturanga, lower down. Going through your flow, you have one breath for movement to guide you. I'll meet you back in your downward facing dog whenever you're ready. Inhale, bring that right leg high, three-legged dog, bending the knee for half scorpion. You can stay here or drop the foot to the other side, lifting the hips, lifting the heart, pushing the floor away. Take one more inhale, allow yourself to expand as much as you can. And as you exhale, spy your mat, flip it back, take an inhale, bring that right leg high. Exhale, bring your knee toward your wrist, coming into pigeon pose. We'll flex our point the front toe as we untuck the back toe. And then lifting the heart toward the sky. We'll take an inhale, expanding it forward. And whenever you're ready, exhale, come on down. Releasing into gravity. Letting everything go. Allow yourself to feel into your right hip, to the masculine side. Noticing what comes up for you. Breathing into that, letting all your thoughts, all your beliefs float on down the river. Slowly rising on up, we're going to sit onto the right leg and pull the left leg in front of us. Bringing the right foot into the inseam of the thigh. Get nice and straight, coming into one line with the left leg and taking an inhale, reaching toward the sky. As you exhale, fold forward, bowing over, allowing the knee and the nose to touch. And if you have trouble making this connection, you can always bend the knee. Straight that nose to knee connection, that chest to thigh connection, and then straighten the leg over time.
Moving on up, we're gonna bend the left knee in as we bring the right leg back behind us, coming into pigeon pose on the other side. So flexing or pointing the front toe, untuck the back toe, and then take an inhale, lifting the heart. For you exhale, come on down. Releasing into your pigeon pose, allowing this left hip pivot inside to open. See if anything different comes up for you on this side. Taking note, never judging, and letting it go. Slowly rising on up. We're going to sit onto that left leg, pulling the right leg forward, bringing the left foot into the end seam of the thigh. We'll come into one line with the right leg and then take an inhale, reaching up towards the sky. As you exhale, folding forward, see if you can create that chest to thigh, knee to nose connection. And allow everything else to go. Continue to use the breath. Feel into your body, noticing where you're at right now, and then honoring that place. Bring both legs wide, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. So you got nice and tall. Push the heart forward, rolling the shoulders back and down. And then if you like, to start walking the hands forward, maintaining that flat back as much as possible. And then when you get to a point where you feel like you're going to start to round through the spine, hold it there. Take an inhale. Pull the heart forward. And as you exhale, maybe fold forward a half an inch, not even. And if it feels good, you can slowly just begin to rock side to side. Allowing yourself to loosen through that side body. Maybe even deepening the pose. And slowly rising on up, bring the legs together, bending the knees in, we're going to roll onto our backs, hugging the knees into the chest, rocking, rolling from side to side, feeling into the body. We have a couple options here. So first I'll start with bridge pose. You can take your feet hip width distance apart and reach around and see if you can touch your fingers. And lifting the hips on up, squeeze the thighs together as we open the heart. You can clasp your hands underneath your back. But continue to stay here, staying lifted, pushing the ground away. Or if you want to take it up a notch, we can come into plow or shoulder stand. So bringing the hands 
toward the floor. We're gonna push them into the mat and then take the knees up and then over. You can always touch down onto the behind your head coming into plow, maybe bending the knees slightly, keeping it for candlestick or desk man's pose. Or if it feels good, we can make our way to shoulder stand. So using the hands to push onto the low back, we'll lift up one leg and then the other. Seeing if we can create a little bit of a straight line here. So continue to push that low back forward, lifting the hips toward the sky, and feeling into your shoulder stand however you need to. If this becomes too much at any time, you can always come back down into plow, taking those toes behind your head, or make your way back into bridge. So allow yourself to invert here, bring the blood flow, transferring it all the way down to your neck, shoulders, your head, wherever you're at. We'll slowly come on down, releasing to the floor, one vertebrae at a time, the tailbone being the very last thing to touch, and then bringing the legs all the way down, making our way into Shavasana. So letting the toes fall wide, palms placed up or down, or maybe taking the hands to the belly and the heart. Allow this time for you to rest and recover from this practice. I want you to feel more than welcome, more than comfortable to stay here as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure to be here and facilitate and guide your practice. I hope you have a most amazing rest of your day. You're able to go out Spread some of this love, spread some of this light around the world, and let it come back and fill up your cup, just like the butterfly. The light in me honors the light in you, because it is the same light that resides in each and every one of us. With this knowledge, with this wisdom, we are all one, we are all the same. Namaste.